All right, we're finishing off section four five with problem number three. This is a good one. This is really gonna lead into some geometry situations. So big time geometry. Okay, some big old geometry uh, work here. All right, here we go. Uh, write a function rule for the area of a rectangle whose length is five feet more than its width. What is the area of a rectangle when its width is nine feet? Ooh, this is a good one, okay. So how do you find the area of a rectangle to start with? Well, the area equals length times width. And then it says right here, the length is five more than the width. So if you think about that, the length is five more than the width. So that's what they're thinking right there with that sentence. And as you can see, they're thinking the same thing here in the book. So instead of length times width, you swap out what the length equals. What does it equal? It equals the width plus five. So that's what they do right here. Then you gotta find the area. So you gotta take W times W plus five. Now this is kind of a newer skill. We haven't really done this yet. Um, we, we might have done some basic multiplications, but when you take W times this entire length, you have to distribute. So you gotta go W times W and W times five. Well, that's gonna be W squared which they have right here, and that's gonna be five W. So they already done the work. There she is right there. And then they say, hey, by the way, what happens when the width is nine? So what happens when W equals nine? You can see they throw it right in there. Nine squared plus five times nine equals 126. So when you have a width of nine feet, you're gonna have a rectangle with an area of 126 feet. And then there's this weird gridded response thing. So how do you put in 126 in a grid? Well, one, two, six. Dot, 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 yeah, okay, cool. So this is theirs. Here's the got it question. I kind of started, as soon as I read it, I was kind of like, ooh, that's a good one. So here we go. Write a function rule for the area of a triangle whose height is four inches more than twice the length of its base. Like I almost, just that sentence alone, I almost, my brain almost went crazy. So what's the area of the triangle when the length of the base is 16 inches. Okay, so let's kind of break this one down here. First of all, area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Let's look at that really dense sentence. Here we go. Height, the height is, height equals, height is, height equals, four more than twice the base. There we go. Okay, so that's what the height equals. Height equals this stuff. So when you're rewriting the equation, take what the height equals and put that in. So here's what the height equals. Equals this. So that's gonna go into the equation. So I'm gonna go B times all of that stuff. What is it? It's a two, B and a plus four. And then all of that's gonna be divided by two. Gross, look at all that. That's nasty, man, that is not fun. So what did I do? The height equals this stuff, so that stuff goes in for H. It's kind of a simple concept even though it looks really complicated. Okay, distribute, times U, times U. So I'm gonna have now a, ooh, sorry, a two, b squared plus uh, a 4b, all that divided by two. Okay, now if you remember, you can simplify this if you wanted to, you can. Um, since both items, since this item, this item, and since the two and the four, since both of those can be divided by two, you can actually simplify that, okay? Um, what it would look like really, really mathematically is you could actually, this is, I'm gonna lose some of you right here, I'm sorry, but you could actually mentally, mathly remove that two. Watch this, I'm gonna take the two out of you and you. Okay, so we're kinda of getting a little ahead of our, some of our skill sets here, so this is actually called factoring. Since there's a two B and a four B, a two B squared, I can actually take a two out of here and I could take a two out of here. Notice the two completely goes away here and there's a, a four left over. Basically what I did is I just kinda put the B in and I took the two out. So I kinda swapped places. B goes in, two comes out. Now watch what happens when I divide by two. Those guys cancel. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Those guys cancel right there. So I don't have a lot of space here, but here's my actual formula. So my area is gonna equal B squared plus two B. Okay, so there's my function. That was a good one, holy cow. That one was challenging. Um, then it says, oh, by the way, what happens when the base is 16? Well, I'll throw a 16 in there, so here we go. Mr. Calculator, tell me what a 16 squared is plus two 16s. Looks like it's gonna be 288, oof. Okay, so kinda ran out of room here. 
So when B equals 16, my area is going to be 16 squared plus 2 times 16. I like to use brackets when I plug stuff in. The area is going to be, what was it again, 288? Here we go, 288. Labeling's important. It'll be inches squared. All right, there you go. Uh, 3B, it says graph the function rule for problem 3. How do you know the rule is nonlinear? Uh, I don't even really need to graph it to see that it's nonlinear. If you have a power, you are not going to be a linear line, okay? Powers cannot ever graph straight lines. They're always going to graph curved ones, but let me try to graph it anyway. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, more stuff we probably will do in class. Go away. Go away. Um, here we go. Let's go. What was it again? The equation It's right there. Now, instead of B, I'm going to throw X in there because my calculator only understands X. So let's go X squared. Oops, excuse me. X squared plus a 2X. Let's go ahead and graph that. Do I have a standard window? I think I got a standard window. Yep, my window is standard. Graph it. Ooh, yeah, totally not linear. Look at that curve, yo. Totally not linear. So, uh, not linear. Okay, right away, again, because of the square. And then, of course, when I graph it, totally not linear. All right. Hey, by the way, make your own stories up here. Looks like we have some type of multiplication. Looks like we have a starting value and we're losing something. Looks like we have another multiplication. Looks like we have, ooh, a division. Ooh, splitting things into groups. Hmm. And then 2,000 minus C equals a big C. Ooh, enjoy that one. Have fun with that one. So make a story, friends. And that's about it. All right, bye.